before I get this video started, I'd like to give a special thank you to the guys on the Subaru of Corvallis for allowing me to come down and review the 2020 Subaru Legacy XT Limited. If you're interested in a new Subaru Legacy or any of the other dependable Subaru models, be sure to hit them up and they'll be happy to get you into your next vehicle. What's going on? This is Big G from G Rides and welcome to another episode of Testing Rides. Today, I'm going to be testing out the 2020 Subaru Legacy XT. Welcome to the 2020 Subaru Legacy. For the 2020 model year, the Subaru Legacy is now in its seventh generation, but things are a little bit different than last time. This last time a new Legacy came out because, frankly, sedans aren't aren't selling really anymore. So, did Subaru do enough to this 2020 Legacy to kind of make it still competitive in the sedan market to make people still want to buy one of these over getting an SUV? So just like the 2020 Subaru Outback, the 2020 Subaru Legacy is now on the Subaru Global platform and it reaps those benefits of being the more modern platform with its, with the way it drives, the way it handles, how much more solid it feels on the road and just how much, more, how much way more quieter this vehicle is than the one it replaces. So for the 2020 model year, the XT trim is back that, that previously only came on Subaru Outbacks, but Subaru decided to put that on the Legacy also because I believe that last time the Legacy came in a turbo model, it was either it was the GT. So now all of the Subaru Legacy and Outback models have an XT if it has the turbo motor. So if you're wondering, why is there a turbo motor no six cylinder? So Subaru got rid of all of the six cylinder engines throughout the lineup. So now this engine that's in this vehicle, which is the FA24F, is now the higher horsepower variant of Subaru engines. So this one is a 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer four cylinder making 260 horsepower and 277 foot pounds of torque. And since this is kind of a big all wheel drive sedan, it does weigh about 3,700 pounds, which is kind of a lot for the mid-size class but also you got to think about the simple fact that this has a full-time all-wheel drive system and this has kind of a big turbocharged four-cylinder motor despite that 3700 pound weight it does get a very reasonable 24 in the city and 33 on the highway with having a very good amount of horsepower and torque so typically the Subaru Legacy is a pretty frugal a pretty frugal pretty cost-effective cost economic vehicle at at, at the starting price of twenty-two thousand dollars, you're getting a, you're getting a pretty big, comfortable sedan that comes with full-time all-wheel drive that gets pretty reasonable fuel economy. Since this is not one of the lower models, so this is the 2020 Subaru Legacy Limited XT. So since it's, since this is both a limited and an XT model, this is closer to the top of the range. There's only one more above this vehicle, so this one is about thirty-five thousand dollar aspect because it has the sunroof package and it has Jeep. GPS navigation inside with that giant 11.6 inch screen and we'll talk about all that stuff when we take a look around the interior and the exterior here so let's go ahead and take a look around to see what the rest of, see what the changes on the outside looks like here welcome to the walk around of the 2020 Subaru Legacy XT so let's go ahead and start here in the front and kind of let's look at some small differences on the front here so for the 2020 model year, the Subaru Legacy is, has an all new design. So they updated the front a little bit. It's still pretty similar to the way it was before, but it just modernized it a little bit. They made the headlights a little bit slimmer and now they have, and, but they left the same LED daytime running light that goes around the outside. But the low beam slash high beam was moved to the middle here. And I believe these are LED and so are the fog lights there. They made the grill a little bit smaller, um, just make it a little bit more modern, and I think I, and, and I like it. So moving over here to the side, the mirror design is a little bit, it's a little bit new, it's, it's a little bit different this year. So before the Subaru Legacy and the Subaru Outback had the mirrors kind of mounted on the doors, they still kind of are, but it's kind of less space in the middle. So I'm pretty sure that probably helps out fuel economy quite a bit. So it's just not air just rushing around the, the headlight, but also I kind of like the chrome trim that's on the side here. So if you look at the very side of the car, the chrome trim starts there on the bottom of the mirror of, of the mirror and goes all the way around. So it's like the chrome piece does it's not the chrome is not interrupted. And I'm not a big fan of chrome, but I do like chrome when it's done tastefully done. And I think my opinion, this is tastefully done chrome. 
and I think it looks pretty good. Not really a big fan of these wheel design, and honestly, I think for this particular model, I'm pretty for this particular model like these are 18s they look a little bit small but of course subaru is not really about having the flashy flashy rims on any of their models so i think it's an okay design they just look a little bit small so coming across the side of the 2020 subaru legacy the subaru legacy is a is definitely what you call a more conservative styled car and you know they've always been like that and the only the only Subarus that are kind of more crazily styled are the, the WRX and the STI, but everything else is pretty, pretty, pretty subdued. And like, only thing this really has is kind of that crease that goes across the side here, that goes all the way back into the tail light, which I think it looks good, but it's really simple, really simple and plain. And that's what kind of helps Subarus not look too old too fast, which is one thing that some cars that are a little bit overstyled can have that problem pretty quickly. Coming around to the rear, the tail lights are also redesigned just like the headlights are. And these tail lights looks more like the, the tail lights that you get on the Subaru, the Subaru Impreza sedan. Um, it's just a little bit more, just a little bit bigger and a little bit more adjusted to the bigger, the bigger legacy here. And as you can see here, it has a legacy XT badge on the side and it has the Subaru and symmetrical all wheel drive there on the other side. So coming around the other side of the Subaru Legacy, it's basically all the same. Like, I mean, why would it be different than the on the other side? Like, this is not a Hyundai Veloster or anything like that to where, you know, you have two different sizes on each side. And let's take a look at this window sticker here. As you can see, this bad boy is almost $36,000. And honestly, that's not too bad considered that considering that this car is basically almost loaded. So when you walk up to the car, when you have the key fob on you, the car is locked right now. It turns on the puddle lights and it has like the little Subaru badge puddle lights there on the side. And if you look on the inside here, let's see if we can get an angle. There's your blast of monitoring there. I really like that, that a lot of cars do that now. But let's go ahead and grab the handle and open up the door because this has like the keyless access system where you just grab the handle to unlock. And there's the inside of the 2020 Subaru Legacy. All right, welcome to the interior of the 2020 Subaru. Let me adjust my camera here. Welcome to the interior of the 2020 Subaru Legacy. And the biggest updates I've noticed about the Subaru Legacy is this interior. So, so like as before, the quality is still really nice, like pretty soft touch materials, some nice little stitching. It's not contrast stitching, but a stitching that goes across all the way to the dash there on from the door panel all the way to the dash. It looks really nice. Everything feels nice to touch, like everything is soft in the right places where you expect to touch a lot. And I love the steering wheel design as before. A um, Couple of new things on this steering wheel is now the Subaru has kind of more of a lane keep assist. Um, well, not a lane keep assist, but a, yeah, but a, a lane keep assist that steers the vehicle down around corners and will kind of look over that, look, look over a little bit of that we get on the road and also has a heated steering wheel button down there. But everything else here is a standard issue Subaru. So, let's take a look at this giant 11-inch screen here. Let me close the sunroof shade. This giant 11-inch screen here and for the infotainment. I think that is pretty awesome. Subaru decided to go with a bigger screen design for the interior. So, let's go ahead and fire it up and see what it looks like when it's come to life. Of course, push button start. So welcome to the newest version of Subaru Starlink. I think this version of Starlink is pretty awesome. I love this giant screen. And it's just like a big iPad type of situation to where you just scroll, so you scroll through everything there, you hit the home button. This is this is the home button, and then when you have your phone plugged in, it uses Apple CarPlay, and this vehicle also has Android Auto. So if you, let's click through the buttons here. So we clicked right there on the left on the little car logo here. And here we are looking at the vehicle settings. So, um, the, the, of course, build, stability control, basically. It has the auto hold, and it also has the steering response headlights at nighttime, so when you're steering, the headlights kind of go where the steering wheel goes. Driver assistance, it has the pre all the pre-collision systems on, and then has just, just all this, this is all the safety systems here. And if we go over the other, this has kind of how you can set, Set your cruise control acceleration um, 
quickness, which is pretty awesome. You can change your, you know, change your units there. And then this vehicle does have start stop and you can click there to, and you can click there to turn the start stop off, which is pretty cool. So this also has a driver monitoring system. So basically when you get in the vehicle, it kind of scans your eyes to see, just to make sure, kind of see where your eyes are. So it can kind of check to see if you're paying attention while you're driving. And if you're not paying attention, it will tell you to pay attention, which is pretty cool. Up here at the top is, so we just have like a little, another little separate screen on the top. And now this included all in this one infotainment system, infotainment screen. Like you got your off-road stuff there, like your angle. If we scroll there, it tells us one Corvallis. So the street we're on and the speed limit, there's no, and there's no audio playing right now, but I was using my Apple CarPlay to listen to music while I drive this vehicle. And at the bottom of the screen here, this is all your climate controls. So this is how you turn it off and on. If you click that, it brings up a little view of the front and it tells you where the air is blowing out of, which is cool, the fan speed and all that stuff. And then you got your two volume, you, you got your two temperature um, dual, dual zone climate control controls there. And then you got your front defroster and then your rear and mirror defrosters, which is pretty cool. And this is all in this new Starlink system. So if we go to media, you got your Bluetooth, iPhone, all that stuff there. Let's go back, we got radio. We got satellite radio. Got your, got your sound settings there, and also at the top there when when you turn on some some music, um, so also when you turn on some music, it pops up there at the top and it gives a little album art, which is pretty awesome, and then also it is rewindable, which is cool. You got your settings there. You have literally every single setting of the car. Sound setting, navigation setting, phone setting, radio setting, all that stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at these little buttons up here. I don't know if you guys can see those up there. Let me see if I can adjust, adjust my camera here so you guys can see that a little bit. All right, so up there are buttons, are our little lights that come on. So there are seven lights up there. So those lights turn on when either you're or you're coming, you're going out of your lane for the lane keep assist. It kind of, and also kind of it. There's other two red ones in there that alert you that there's something in front of you. And also if you when you're just driving along, it kind of scans your and that's kind of in the there's a green light in the very middle that kind of keeps track of your of eyes of your eye scanning so that's pretty that's pretty awesome and it's a pretty sophisticated system i think it's really cool that subaru is doing that now on this model um and i think they're probably going to be adding that on all the other models that they have in their lineup so moving over here to the side to so we're, we're back over here um in the passenger area and one thing i forgot to mention i love this two-tone um, beige and black interior with the gloss black trim. I think that looks pretty awesome. I think that's honestly, ideally, that's the way I would want to buy one of these models or any of the super models. I think it looks pretty nice and I like the light, lighter colored interiors. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the exterior color. But, hey, they had, they had a good one available. So, let's go over to these seats. These are the same seats that you get in a lot of the, all the new super products. Like, they're very, they're very supportive and they look really awesome and they're they feel really nice to the touch and they're pretty comfortable one new thing i'm gonna hop out and show you real quick something that a lot of like luxury cars get and i'm glad that subaru decided to put it on their vehicles now i think that's really cool that they did that so let's let's take a look at the back seat real quick before we head on the road hey gopro stop recording So here is the back seat of the 2020 Subaru Legacy. And as you can see back here, you do have heated seats. Um, it looks pretty comfortable back here. I'm not gonna get back here, but it looks like a pretty back, pretty big back seat. I have a seat back where I drive very, very comfortably, but I could probably scoot the seat up to get a little bit more back seat space here. But overall, this is just a standard issue back seat. Pretty roomy, pretty big. And then if we look up here, we got the, this vehicle since it's the limited it has the harmony card and sound system and it got some pretty and it has a pretty some pretty good bump there like in the little subwoofer so 
So back here, the cargo area, the trunk is a little bit bigger than, than the outgoing model. I'll put up the official number there. Boom. But it's pretty roomy. Like, my Pelican case is pretty big. So, like, you know, looks like you probably could fit about four or five of them back here. I think that's pretty awesome. But besides that, the interior of the Subaru Legacy remains to be a very high quality, very nice place to be. And it's really comfortable. And I love all the small updates that they did for the 2020 model year. So, let's go ahead and hop out on the road and see how the things, this thing drives now. All right, welcome to the driving portion of the 2020 Subaru Legacy. Let's go ahead and hop out on the road and see how this thing drives. Oh my gosh. So the, <laughs> that is nice. So the first thing you do when you hop, well, the first thing to do when you hop out on the road in the 2020 Subaru Legacy XT is smash that throttle. So I never really got it. I never got a chance to drive the old version of the 3.6R version of the Subaru Legacy, but of, obviously that was always the one to have, just because me personally I like to have power in my vehicles. But like now with this thing going to the Turbo 4, the FA 24F that's in that's put comes in the Subaru Ascent, it doesn't have as much horsepower and torque as that one does because I mean that is a way bigger vehicle. But it does still have a pretty good amount, and this thing is quick. So you put the pass the throttle. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's pretty quick. Um, one thing that I big thing I noticed though is um, the CVT that's the, CV, the CVT tuning is tuning like a transmission when it's in the in the paddle shift mode which i think is really cool i talked about that a lot in the new super i like the way they tune their cvts now even though i'm not a big fan of cvts i still like the way they tuned it all right the one the one one very big thing i've noticed is this super legacy handles a lot different than i remember super Le super legacies handling so super legacies aren't really the most fun to drive cars they're just kind of an all-wheel drive super sedan that gets the job done but this one is is on on the window sticker it says Subaru symmetrical all wheel drive with vehicle dynamic control. So I'm I'm assuming that the vehicle dynamic control means torque vectoring. So now when you're driving this thing kind of hard, this thing actually just kind of more rotates around corners, which is pretty awesome. It makes this car a lot more interesting to drive, even though this car really isn't. It's not like a sports car, or nothing, but it handles a lot better than it used to, and I definitely. I definitely take my hat off to them like big making this vehicle handle a little bit better because I feel like I could you actually could throw this thing around corners now the steering is typical typical Subaru steering it's kind of it's easy but it's like a little bit it's a little bit more it's it's, it's easy but it's and it's pretty solid let's do another pull here It's kind of cool you get like a little bit of turbo bluff noise when you let off you can't really hear it like when you take it on a drive and it's quiet you'll be able to hear it but yeah the super legacy handles a lot better than it used to i'm glad that super kind of figured that out because i really like the old super legacy i like the design i think it was always clean but i just never really liked the way it drove just because it was not a very interesting car to drive and now it's much much better than before so how how is the rest of this drive the drive experience in this car? So the super this the interior of the, the Subaru the Subaru Legacy is it's really comfortable. Like you guys know I'm a big dude. I'm over six feet tall and over 350 pounds. And this interior is really spacious and comfortable. Like I have plenty of I play plenty of arm room, plenty of leg room in here. Um, the headrest goes up high enough. I got plenty of headroom. It's pretty. It's extremely comfortable. And also this car is actually pretty decently quiet. Like. You, you can have a conversation in here without yelling over any type of other road noise and I think that's pretty awesome. The view out of all the windows is pretty nice. That's one thing that Subarus have always done is the, just their, they have, a really, they have a really good view out of all the windows and everything to where, you know, with the little, with the little quarter windows there. Oh, school zone, better slow down. With the little quarter windows, it's pretty awesome. And then like, you know, all the windows and everything are pretty big in this vehicle. So it has a, it has a pretty big greenhouse. So, you know, it makes this car feel a little bit more open and airy. As you're seeing, I'm going around corners right now and I'm not even steering. So this is the new Subaru's, this is Subaru's new, Subaru's new kind of 
adaptive cruise control system that steers for you and I and that was the one thing that I think that Subarus have been missing for a while now because I know they were pretty early in the they're pretty early on in the adaptive cruise control game but because they got I mean they got adaptive cruise control right when everybody else they got adaptive cruise control right when everybody else got it But they never really had any type of steering assist and, to, and for the and for model year 2020 with more safety features and things like that coming way more important it, it was really imperative for them to put it and i'm really glad that they finally did and it works pretty well um it and actually sends us a little bit pretty good if you're not paying attention or not with that eye scan eyes with the eye scan or the face scan or whatever when you get in the vehicle I have to do a little bit more research and I want to make a, a dedicated video on how that exactly works. So so, so come back later and I'll do a separate video and talk about how the safety systems in this, how, how the safety systems work in this vehicle. But the 2020 Super Legacy is a quiet, comfortable vehicle. Um, and whether, you, you know, honestly, whether you're getting the XT or the non-XT model, the Super Legacy is just going to be an excellent vehicle. It's going to be comfortable. It's going to get you to where you got to get safely. And But if you have the XT, it gets you, also gets you there quickly. And also, it's a pretty efficient vehicle with the amount of horsepower and torque that this car has. With the amount of horsepower and torque that this car has, it actually get, it gets very good fuel economy, 24 in the city and 33 on the highway. And I know if you if you get the non-turbo model, you'll get even better fuel economy than that. But I think this is still very good for something of this of, of this weight and this power, honestly. I mean, at 3,700 pounds, this weighs almost as much as, most, as a lot of the small SUV, crossover SUVs do. But yet, it gets, like, it gets the, about the similar gas mileage as most of the more powerful of the midsize sedans are. So I think that Subaru Legacy, the Subaru has did a really good job doing that. And you know, it's not just saying, I'm not just saying that because I work with the Subaru dealership, but this car is a pretty great driving car. And I think that, you know, if you're looking for a midsize sedan, um, you should definitely take a look at this one, mainly because it's, there's a lot of value in in this package, if especially if you don't if you don't really care about the power. Like, you know, you can get a pretty nice you can get a pretty loaded up limited for in in the in the low 30s, high 20s. So, you know, and you're getting all this nice equipment. Like this car comes with this giant six, 11 point 11 point six inch screen. I believe it comes on the premium model and above. Um, and if you get the limited, you can get the Harman Kardon sound system, you get the satellite radio, you get you get heated seats and automatic climate control, push button starting, all that good stuff. So I think Subaru is still still having that value. Subaru is still offering that bang for the buck. Um, it's still offering some pretty good bang for the buck in terms of, of buying a nice loaded vehicle for not that expensive. If you're looking for a comfortable, pretty, if you're looking for a comfortable, easy to drive, just sedan that just does everything well, you should definitely take a look at the 2020 Subaru Legacy, whether that is a regular one or an XT. Me personally, because I like power, I like the XT. So if you like this video, hit me with a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, keep riding me. Thanks for watching.